Did you know that a corps helped the Allied forces during World War II hand the German forces one of the biggest L's in the war? This is the story of an ingenious ruse called Operation Mince Meat. Let's dive right in. The year is 1943, and the war hangs in a delicate balance. As the Allies strategize their next move, they hatch an extraordinary idea to mislead the enemy with a cunningly crafted ruse. Enter Operation Mincemeat, a story filled with intrigue, espionage, and a dash of absurdity. At its core Operation Mincemeat revolved around an exquisite deception, quite literally. A plan was concocted to plant a corpse, carrying fake documents about a fictional Allied invasion, into the enemy's hands. This man who never was would be the key to deceive the Germans into believing a grand assault was imminent, but where would they find such a body? Picture the sandy shores of Spain's Huelva coast, where they stumbled upon a solution, a deceased Welshman named Glyndor Michael. His tragic demise offered the perfect opportunity to bring Operation Mincemeat to life. But how could a mere corpse achieve such grand deception? With meticulous attention to detail, the British intelligence team sprang into action. They transformed Glyndor Michael into the fictitious Captain William Martin of the Royal Marines using a carefully tailored new identity. Not only that, they filled his pockets with items to enhance his backstory, ensuring he appeared to be an authentic military officer. It was a surreal endeavor, turning a life extinguished into an instrument of war. But the success of Operation Mincemeat relied not only on the corpse's fabricated identity but also on the documents he carried. These cunningly concocted papers indicated a plan to invade Greece and Sardinia, thus diverting German resources to the wrong areas and away from the actual target, Sicily. On a moonlit night in April 1943, a Royal Navy submarine stealthily delivered Captain Martin's lifeless body to the Spanish coastline. And so, the audacious game of deception began. The Germans swiftly fell into the trap, with their intelligence officers eagerly analyzing the fabricated documents. They took the bait, hook, line, and sinker. The ramifications of Operation Mincemeat were immense. The Germans, wholly convinced of the impending Allied assault on Greece and Sardinia, diverted their forces to these fictional fronts. Meanwhile, the real invasion of Sicily, codenamed Operation Husky, unfolded with heightened chances of success as the Axis powers were caught off guard. Ah, the consequences of Operation Mincemeat. A tale of deception that resonated far beyond its audacious execution. Allow me to unveil the rippling effects that reverberated across the battlefields of World War II. First and foremost, Operation Mincemeat achieved its primary objective with resounding success. The false intelligence and documents carried by the fictional Captain William Martin convinced the German High Command that an Allied invasion of Greece and Sardinia was imminent. As a result, German resources, troops, and attention were directed towards these fictitious fronts, diverting precious reinforcements from the true target, Sicily. This diversion of Axis forces proved crucial as it significantly weakened the German defences in Sicily, where the Allies were indeed planning a massive assault. Operation Husky, the real invasion of Sicily, unfolded with greater ease and favourable odds, providing a crucial stepping stone in the Allied advance through Europe. The actions set in motion by Operation Mincemeat played a vital role in the eventual liberation of Europe from Nazi tyranny. Moreover, the success of Operation Mincemeat bolstered the confidence and morale of the Allied forces. It served as a testament to the ingenuity and resourcefulness of the intelligence agencies involved, notably MI5. The operation showcased their ability to think outside the box and employ unconventional tactics to outsmart the enemy. Beyond its immediate military impact, Operation Mincemeat also left a lasting legacy in the realm of intelligence and counter-deception. It became a quintessential case study illustrating the benefits of careful planning, attention to detail, and exploiting the enemy's vulnerabilities. The lessons learned from this operation influenced future military strategies and shaped the way intelligence agencies approached deception. So, my friend, the consequences of Operation Mincemeat were twofold, a tangible military victory that altered the course of World War II and a profound impact on the art of deception and strategic thinking. It stands as a testament to the power of a well-executed illusion and remains an ever-captivating chapter in the annals of human ingenuity. Operation Fortitude was a pivotal World War II military deception operation conducted by the Allies in order to mislead and deceive the German forces. It was a complex and intricate plan aimed at diverting the attention of the German High Command, particularly Adolf Hitler, away from the true location of the planned D-Day invasion. In the darkest hours of World War II, when the fate of nations hung in the balance, a clandestine operation emerged from the shadows. 
Operation Fortitude, a masterful deception maneuver that would change the course of history forever. It was the year 1944, and the Allies had meticulously planned the largest amphibious invasion the world had ever seen. The objective, to liberate Western Europe from the iron grip of Nazi occupation. But victory hinged on a crucial factor, surprise. The German Empire, led by the notorious Adolf Hitler, was expecting an attack from the Allies. But where would it come from? That was the question that plagued the minds of both Allied and Axis forces. Enter Operation Fortitude, a complex web of secrets, lies, and misdirection that would create the illusion of a second front, forcing the German High Command to spread their resources thin. From the creation of fictitious headquarters, the Phantom 1st United States Army Group, to the invention of a fictitious army led by General George S. Patton, nothing was left to chance. The Allies even recruited courageous spies who risked their lives, infiltrating enemy lines to drop counterfeit documents, spreading confusion and uncertainty. Deception took on an entirely new meaning. Inflatable decoy tanks, aircraft, and landing craft were positioned strategically, creating the illusion of massive troop and equipment buildup in fake locations. Figures like Winston Churchill and General Dwight D. Eisenhower masterminded this grand charade, leaving the German intelligence machine tangled in a web of false information. And then, the day arrived. D-Day. As the Allies stormed the beaches of Normandy, the German forces found themselves overwhelmed and caught off guard. Operation Fortitude had lured them away, focusing their defenses in the wrong place. Operation Fortitude, a testament to the power of deception and strategy, forever etching its name in the annals of history. The audacity, the brilliance, the sheer audacity of it all would leave its mark on the world, reminding us that sometimes the greatest battles are fought not on the battlefield, but within the depths of our imagination. Music swells, credits roll, narrator, Operation Fortitude, a secret that changed the course of war. Operation Fortitude played a pivotal role in the success of the D-Day invasion by deceiving the German forces and diverting their attention away from the true location of the Allied landings. The impact of Operation Fortitude on D-Day can be seen in several key ways. The primary objective of Operation Fortitude was to convince the German High Command that the main Allied invasion would occur in the Pas de Calais region, which was the shortest sea crossing between Britain and France. Through an extensive campaign of disinformation, including fake radio traffic, double agents, and decoy equipment, the Germans were led to believe that the Pas de Calais region was the primary target. Consequently, they allocated a significant portion of their defenses, reserves, and panzer divisions to this area, diverting valuable resources away from the actual invasion site of Normandy. The Atlantic Wall was a formidable system of coastal defenses built by the Germans to repel any Allied invasion. Operation Fortitude contributed to the weakening of this defensive line as the bulk of German forces were positioned in the wrong location. This allowed the Allies to land relatively unopposed on the beaches of Normandy, providing crucial momentum for the success of the invasion. Operation Fortitude not only diverted German forces but also created uncertainty and confusion within the German command structure. Hitler himself was convinced that the Pas de Calais region was the primary target, and his distrust of his own intelligence sources prevented him from effectively reallocating troops to Normandy until it was too late. This confusion and delay in decision-making played a significant role in the Allies' ability to establish a foothold and secure their beachheads. Operation Fortitude had a profound psychological impact on the German forces. The belief that a second front was imminent in the Pas de Calais region caused the German High Command to hesitate and remain cautious even after the Normandy landings had taken place. This allowed the Allies to consolidate their positions and reinforce their troops without facing the full strength of the German defences. In summary, Operation Fortitude successfully deceived the German forces and diverted their attention away from the true invasion site at Normandy. By weakening the German defences and creating confusion within their command structure, it played a critical role in the success of the D-Day invasion and significantly impacted the outcome of the decisive campaign in Western Europe. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Remember, stories are all around us, just waiting to be discovered and shared. So keep your curiosity alive, and you never know what fascinating tales you might unravel next. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to join our community and stay tuned for more captivating stories.